Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? Welcome back to Southern Intuition. This is going to be a reading. I'm going to set the intention here. I'm going to do the top row is going to be for Aries. The middle row here is going to be for the person that you have on your mind. And then the final row is going to be just your connection in general. Now, Keep in mind, I believe everything connects eventually, and if it is your message to hear, you'll do so. And then please like, share, and subscribe. So, we're going to get right into it. We've got a moth friend here who's come to visit. I really hope he doesn't land in the candle. He likes my light, apparently. All right, so this is going to be for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, even a cross watcher. Maybe the title will resonate with you. It doesn't matter. I'm setting my intention for Aries. This our moth is just hanging like a moth to a flame. And moth to the light, Aries. Hmm. Some sort of choice here. Aries, you're going to receive news here that someone has made a decision. Okay, let's see. Whatever this person is that's approaching you, because you've got this Knight of Wands that's coming in, and they're coming in hot, okay? Fast, very fast moving energy here. Someone wants to talk to you. They want to see you. They want your attention. They could have been holding back for quite some time. I don't know. Let's see you, Aries, the Hermit, the Six of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Huh. You're moving towards a new opportunity here, but I'm not sure why the hermit's here. And the hermit's looking away from this. Like, the hermit is really trying to focus on something important here. There's something that's important. You're looking at this. You're trying to figure it out. You're going within. You're, you're healing it. <clears throat> And then you're moving, moving into calmer waters for sure. Things are chilling out, right? And then there's this new opportunity. And this is like, you know, going through the portal here. This is something new, Aries. Oh, your person. <laughs> oh, we have the devil. That might be something of interest to be paying attention to. We have the judgment and the moon. All right. This person here, I feel like this is this Knight of Wands energy, just because of the colors here I'm seeing. It could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. We, there's also Virgo, Pisces. They're going to contact you. There's a wake-up call here. There's something... They are tied to something here. There's something, there's some sort of toxic energy that your person is dealing with. Maybe that's what you, you're like pushing them to take a look at this, you know, or this is what you're looking at. You're like, what, what is that? You know, like, here you go. Can you, can you see my light here? There's something here, Aries. Um, we'll clarify more in a moment but it's almost like there's this aha like this epiphany moment that's going on maybe you could be walking away from this interesting um and when you start to move in another direction they're like wait hey come back wait a minute hold on not yet there's something hidden here 
something that is needing to come out, but it's almost like they're afraid. That's what I'm getting. Like, you're really looking at whatever's going on here. This Knight of Wands that's coming in, and you're like, what is this? What do you want? You know? And you're like, look, I'm, I'm on to good things in my life. I just want to be happy, you know? I'm tired of all the whatever that was that I might have been dealing with. I've healed from this energy, and now I'm moving into better things. And this person has got something that they want to speak. There, there's definitely this, I, I need to talk to you. I want to talk to you. And it's almost like they're afraid because, I don't know, afraid to reveal it. Moving on, let's see the connection here. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, the Justice. Well... Things are definitely going to balance themselves out here. So with the justice showing up, there's definitely been some sort of injustice, right? This is something you've put a lot of effort into, Aries. I mean a lot of effort, a lot of time you have spent. And it's like you're finally getting what you deserve here. The justice is coming out. This is like... I don't know. I, I, I'm also getting like this is taking you for a roller coaster ride. It's just up and down, and it's oh my goodness! It's it's like the extremes to non extremes, in and out energy, in and out energy. Um, but this there's something that's really being held back here, and the truth, the truth is going to come out. So three of swords. Whatever, whatever this heartache was about, this connection here, there's a sense of this coming back around. Let's see this outcome card. The King of Pentacles is showing up here. This is our second court card. So we've got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo is this energy, you know, very passionate energy coming in. And we have this King of Pentacles, which is... Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, again, Capricorn. Very, um, yeah. There's something here that's coming full circle, coming back around. No, we're going to see. Aries, let's see what's happening here. Something's changing big time. Let's see um, this uh, King of Pentacles. I'm curious to who he was. I mean, he just kind of popped out. I mean, we knew that this is the direction that you was heading in towards, but you know, he's got money. So are you heading towards money, Aries? I mean, maybe that's what that's about. You got the Page of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Five of Cups. This could be someone that you work with, or this is someone that's really trying to put in a certain amount of effort into this. There's a sense of reconciliation here, so you could be reconciling with this person. This person has been watching you, and they have a serious regret. Serious regret going on here. Let's see how that ties up to this devil card, this regret that they've got. What is this about? Yeah, there's that pain. Yeah, it's only someone from your past. There's cancer energy here now. So this person has, like, really kind of been consumed, like, overly obsessing about whatever this was. I feel like this is an apology. Someone's, like, offering you a peace offering here. And this, it's it's coming in. I mean, whoosh, it's, it's moving. But it's been a little stagnant. But they've got something they want to say here. Let's see what this moon is about. The moon here for oh, damn. Interesting. What's hidden here, Aries, is um, there's an ending to a cycle, and whatever this is, it's like somebody is feeling good. I mean, they're they're looking sharp. There's something happening, and this is a total transformation. I don't even know that you see this, but you're manifesting this. 
Seven of Swords. This is actually something that you wanted, the Justice card here. What is this change? Now, before that, let's go back. I mean, the judgment we know. This is they, they've got, they want to tell you this. What are you looking at here, Aries? What is this that you were so concerned about? Four of a relationship. Oh. Hmm. You're looking at this relationship, this new opportunity here. Queen of Swords energy is coming out. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is a strong connection. This is the strong connection. So, oh. It's like somebody is trying to talk to you here. <clears throat> There's definitely communication. Somebody's trying to speak to you. You're looking at that. And while you're looking at that, you're like, you know, moving on another way here towards a new opportunity. Let's see what this opportunity is about. But you're, there's communication here coming in. There's something, this is going to confuse you. Um, somebody wants to make things right within a situation. There's Things are shifting here. There is massive change that's going on in your uh, reality here. And I feel like you're just kind of walking right into it. You're just... That... Where's that path at? Right there. That path, Aries. The portal. There's the Queen of Wands. Temperance. Ten of Pentacles. Look at you. You have a Knight of Swords coming in here, and they're coming in fast. This is a change. Okay, so, all right. If you've been single, <laughs> you are not single anymore. Okay, be mindful. This person that's coming in here is like, whoosh taking action they are they're putting an end an end to your they're bringing in your your tenth pinnacle here this is someone's very passionate very very confident very just driven and this is reconciliation this is what's changing everything this knight of swords he's he's, he's coming in here and again, this is something that you have put a lot of time and effort into. A lot of time and effort. And it's like you're finally seeing, seeing, seeing what you've been waiting for. Justice energy. <clears throat> Let's see this outcome here. Nine of swords. A higher thing. Four of cups. Okay. All right, love, somebody is going to open up here. This is um, love. You're going to see here, all right, the, the Hierophant is an energy of learning, right? And this is where things are going to be balanced out, where you have been in your head stressed about this connection, not really knowing what to do. Um, should you take the offer? Should you not take the offer? What is this? What is that? This justice card that's coming in here is coming to teach you. You're fixing to learn. This Mercury retrograde is going to teach Aries how to stay cool when your mind gets fuzzy. When you're amongst these opportunities and you don't really know which way to go, this way or that way, this Mercury Retrograde is teaching you how to balance your mind, balance your emotions. Queen of Cups. See, when he was looking back here, looking back at connections, maybe past connections, um, where you could have been a little bit cold and detached, you're coming out here at the Queen of Cups energy. Let's, uh, I don't know which deck I want to use. I want to get you some advice here. Um, I feel like there's just a little bit more information that maybe you need to know. So we're going to find out what that is, Aries. Well, we don't need all that. Okay, let's see. Aries, Aries. Aries, Aries. Let's try it this way. 
What do you have for Aries? What's what's Aries thinking about you? Oh. The Star, the King of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, King of Cups. Stay open here. There, What you want is here, Aries. It's here. What you want is here. Stay open because I feel like you are finally, you know, getting balance. I mean, this could just be a beautiful connection here that you're dealing with. But enjoy, just enjoy the flow. You're in it. Everything is just kind of smooth sailing right now, right? Mystic Healer, remember I was telling you, you're fixing to learn. This person is a teacher. Healing energy is flowing through you. You're embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Speak that into existence, you know, like, I'm, I'm feeling great. My life is great. Everything's good here. Check out that lovers. It's great. It's amazing. Amazing reading. I mean, I'm just getting, the... somebody's got something to say. There's a, a serious opening up that's going to happen here. That's what I have for you, Aries, so good luck with that.